With everything parents have to do now that kids are back in school, it never hurts to have some tools to make it easier. Well, busy mom of six, Colleen Burns, joins us with some good advice. Good morning, Colleen. Good morning. It's a pleasure to have you on. So I see you have a few items in front of you there that will really make it easier for parents and for kids as they head back into the busy school season. So start us off. Thanks, Alex. You're right. The National Retail Federation is saying that this is the second biggest back to school shopping season we've ever had. $80 billion we're going to spend. That's a lot. And on that list, 60% of us are going to be buying electronics. And also on the list, possibly orthodontia, because seven of 10 kids need their teeth straightened. But even though it's a great self-esteem booster to get straight teeth. Some kids can be self-conscious about those traditional metal braces. This is a better option and one a lot of parents don't often consider and that's Invisalign treatment. It's the same price and it's 50% faster now the treatment. So if it's you know between having these metal braces and uh, brackets and wires and the uh, the pain and uncomfortableness of that versus something that is comfortable almost invisible and you can take out the liners whenever you want so your kids can still enjoy their favorite foods and they can also go to the movies and uh, eat popcorn. Well as somebody who had metal braces for seven years I can't believe how quick and convenient and really invisible the new technology is these days to straighten your teeth and you have something else there that that'll make it a little bit easier for parents too. That's true. I mean, we've got these to-do lists. We're so concerned with the items we need to get for our kids, but it's really important to maintain open communication and to recognize that this is a stressful time for your child. It's not only the transition, it's the peer pressure. And a lot of our kids just don't have the social skills to deal with some of that peer pressure. But even while it sounds like a lot to be talking about drug testing your child, it offers a really convenient out for them. Because if they're at a party and someone offers them drugs and they don't have the social skills to say no, this way they can say, you know what, my parents test me regularly and they put it on you instead of putting it on them. So it's a much easier situation or much easier um, solution to a very difficult situation. First check is the leading at home drug test. You can get it at your local pharmacy. It's very easy to use. In five minutes you can find out if your child is not using one of 12 of the most commonly abused drugs, including five prescription drugs. And as you know, Alex, this is such a huge epidemic, the abuse of prescription drugs. And this is 99% accurate. So it's a great tool and a great conversation opener with your children. Well, certainly it's a way to stop kids from falling prey to those bad influences. Now, Colleen, we have just a little bit of time left. Is there any last final tips you want to leave for people? I would just say, you know, we were talking about that National Retail Federation study, and I was so surprised to find out that only 44% of us are buying our back-to-school essentials online. And that's just the easiest way to price compare, save some money. Also, make sure you Google promo codes for whatever site you're visiting because you can often get a nice discount. Also, maybe subscribing to their email list, even for a short period of time, could get you 15 or 20% off. If you're going to be spending a lot of money, it's well worth it. Very good point. There really is so much on the internet that people can take advantage of. So, Colleen, if people want to learn a little bit more about the products you talked about today, where can they go? And then go to videopump.tv. Excellent. We'll do that. Colleen Burns, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Alex. Definitely. Let's stay right where you are, guys. We'll be right back.